So now seems like a good time to critique Nintendo and give them a lot of suggestions and ideas. And I know I did that in my last video, but a lot of other YouTubers have come out and basically uh, called out Nintendo on some of the BS stuff that they've been doing. So this is Proud Tycoon. Nintendo, please watch this. I promise you success if you follow these things. So the first thing is keep them up with the times. Now this encompasses a lot of things, but this is just the main thing in general. Just get into the modern times. Cross game chat, achievements, freaking a good messaging system that we don't have to exit out of our games for, some better notification system. I mean, this has a lot of things that fall under this umbrella, but just keeping up with the times in general, I promise you, will put you in a much better position. Guaranteed. Second thing is advertisements. Advertisements, advertisements, advertisements. Look, some of, uh, some of us uh, gamers don't even know what the Wii U is. There's some gamers out there that don't even know Nintendo has a new system. And of course, the gamers don't know how the hell is the casual crowd going to know. Go balls to the wall with advertising, pushing it out there. Hey, this is a new system. Now, the third thing I'm going to suggest is it might be a little bit out there. Buy Capcom. I mean, from what I understand, Capcom's not doing so hot right now, and they're just making a lot of dumb decisions themselves. Buy Capcom. Between Capcom's games and Nintendo's first party lineup, I mean, if you combine those two, like, you cannot, you know, just skip a Nintendo system. You know, there would be no way for you not to go out and get a Nintendo system if that's, you know, where you, the only place where you can get your Mario, your Zelda, your Donkey Kong, your Fire Emblem, your Smash Brothers. If that's where you get all that, and it's where you get your Resident Evil, your Devil May Cry, your Monster Hunter, I mean, if it's if it's the system for all that stuff, that's the only place you can get it, people are going to get it. I mean, that, pretty much, you'll they have to get it, because Capcom's games are awesome, even though I don't like them as a company, and Nintendo's games are awesome, even though they make dumb decisions as a company, too. But if you combine those two as, like, a list of first-party games, huh, it would be incredible now the next thing is get these third-party developers come on man get these I mean they don't have to make exclusive content for the Wii U but just get more consistency with third uh, with third-party support and I think the biggest thing right now that's really getting the third party away from the Wii U is not the power of the Wii U that might be part of it but that's not it clearly as I have seen with the Assassin's Creed 4 comparison videos, the Wii U is a pretty capable system. It is a fairly capable system. For those of you that haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description with the Assassin's Creed 4 comparisons between PS3, 360, Wii U, and PS4. Now, without a doubt, PlayStation 4 was miles ahead of everything else. It looked amazing. It was great. But the Wii U actually looked fairly good, and it was in between the current gen, 360, PS3, and the next gen, PS4. It was there in the middle, which we all know the Wii U is actually at. And it, I think it opened a lot of gamers' eyes. I've seen a lot of comments about, you know, not so much, oh, wow, PlayStation 4 looks amazing. Most of the comments I saw were, wow, I'm actually impressed with how the Wii U version looks. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. So the power's not the big thing. I think the main thing that's really deterring the third parties away from you is your lack of console sales. Which, if you follow my previous steps, you shouldn't have a problem with. If you follow those previous steps, your consoles will fly off the shelves. And I think that's really going to reel in the third parties, because the third parties are trying to make the most profit. And if they see your console doesn't have many hardware units out there, it's not a profitable system for them. But get more sales out there, follow my previous steps. In the third parties, not all of them, some of them should come naturally. So what you do at that point, what you should be doing now, is working closely with those third parties. Show them how to optimize the Wii U. Show them that the Wii U is a capable system, that it has the horsepower to port your games on there fairly well, and show them that you're capable of marketing and selling this system. That is the main thing. Do these things, Nintendo, and I promise you, Success! The main thing with the Wii U right now is it needs to capture the hardcore gamers. And I think if you follow all those steps, you will capture those gamers. I mean, yeah, casual gamers, they're big, they're going to help you, 
but you don't need help reeling in the casual gamers. You have your Wii Fits, you have your you know Wii Parties, you know all that stuff. You guys got the casual crowd. You're you're gonna have them, but you really need to get in the hardcore market. That's who you really need to appeal to, because if you implement these features, if you do those things that I said, you're not gonna you know push the casual crowd away. It's not gonna happen. They'll still be there because all they really care about is you know the Wii Fits, you know the Wii Parties, and um, I guess Mario Kart. I consider a bridge game between hardcore and casual, but you're you're gonna have the software to attract the casual. You need to attract the hardcore by doing the stuff I said. Nintendo, please, please do these things. Anyways, it's Power Tycoon. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Thanks for watching.